Everybody is always asking me what is the best lens to get, but in reality, there is no best lens. So here's the thing. This video is sponsored by Skillshare, but don't go anywhere. Don't skip this. I want to tell you something. Skillshare is a platform where you can learn, explore creativity. You can figure out more about lenses and photography and videography with the click of a button, the link down below. The first 1000 people to click that link down below can go sign up for a free trial. And I highly recommend that because if you're trying to learn about lenses or you're trying to learn about cameras or shooting photos, shooting video, they have like tons and tons and tons of videos that are really informative and will help your brain just like grow. Not only that, but it's less than $10 a month after you get your free trial by clicking that link down below and you can just continue learning for like the price of a burrito. It's crazy. This could be a little biased, but my favorite class on the Skillshare platform is my brother Wasi Imogens. He has a class on there with a ton of different videos that teach you how to prep for a shoot, um, finding locations, uh, writing out shot lists, all types of good juicy information. So I highly recommend clicking that link down below and signing up for a Skillshare account because it's just like highly beneficial. And I don't, if you don't want to click it, I just don't know why you wouldn't want to click it, but you should definitely click it and sign up because you can just learn, 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 learn. Okay. Back to the video. You see people get into jobs. People want to take photos. People want to do videos. People want to do specific photos or specific videos, which require specific lenses. You see, there is not one lens that is going to be perfect or the best lens for every single thing. Everything's going to require a different style of lens. You see, if you're vlogging yourself, talking and running around, you want to have something wide so it feels like the same way your eyes are, a wide perspective right up on your face, close and in person. Whereas if you're shooting surf photography or um, wildlife photography, you're going to need a long lens because you're not going to want to get close up to a lion. Same way if you're doing portraits, you're going to want something kind of mid to close range, maybe 35 mil, 50 mil or 85 mil. If you're running gunning out in the streets in street photography or urban photography, you're going to need all different types of focal lengths packed in one. So I'd say maybe a 24 to 70, 24 to 105. If you want an all around good lens when you're vlogging and want to get some B-roll and you want to get some good photos, you might want a 16 to 35. The point is there is no best lens. Figure out what it is that you want to do, whether that be music videos, whether that be portrait photography, street photography, wedding photography, um, wedding videos. Maybe you want to shoot club recap videos. Maybe you want to shoot concerts and shows on video or photo. I don't know. You have to figure out what it is that you want to do first, and then you can figure out what lenses work best. The lower you go in millimeters, the wider your shot's going to be. And the higher you go in millimeters, the closer your shot is going to be. So if you're doing something that's going to be far away from your subject, you might need a longer lens. If you're doing something that's going to be kind of up close and personal, and you want it to have that wide feel, then maybe you need a wide lens. If you're going to be doing a bunch of different things from vlog, Login, to photography, to portraits, to long range shooting, B-roll, everything, then maybe you need something like a 24 to 70 or 24 to 105. Not to mention aperture plays a big part in all of these different lenses. A lower aperture, you're going to get more bokeh, creamy bokeh blur in the background. And the higher you go in aperture, the more you're going to see and have in focus. So a prime lens will typically have a lower aperture and maybe a zoom lens, something like a 24 to 70 will have a little bit higher of an aperture, maybe 2.8 and higher, which is totally okay. If you're on the go and you're out and about, you might not want to have a lower uh, depth of field. And if you're like more staged and set lighting and you can move around and take your time with your photos, or your video, you could probably drop your aperture down a little bit more and get more bokeh. There's tons of uh, different scenarios that you may be faced with, or maybe you're trying to start photography or videography and you're trying to figure out what is the best lens. Basically, there's only three things that you're going to need to do. One, you need to figure out what exactly it is you're going to be shooting. Two, you need to figure out if you want it to be wide, close, or medium range. And three, do you want a lot of blurry background bokeh or do you want everything in focus? And that should kind of weed out the lenses and help you figure out what lens is the best for you. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, slap that like button. Drop me a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in another video soon to come. Peace.